Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Binding Max episode 18. Today is just a quick follow-up on the testing of the Defiant Designs DS dual parallel 18650 mechanical mod. Now, th this actually did fairly well uh, with the gold-plated copper contacts. It was 95 millivolts. That's not so great, but it's certainly better than uh, the stainless steel mods, the tube mods. Uh, but with the silver-plated copper contacts, which I swapped in, as a set, Defiant Designs was kind enough to send me uh, a set of these. Uh, it dropped down to 64 millivolts. Now, some of you might be saying, well, of course, silver is more conductive. Uh, it, we would have a lower voltage drop. But after looking at the contacts and, and judging by the thinness of the plating, the plating adds very, very little in terms of any kind of performance difference. You could nickel plate a contact and then silver plate a different contact and the performance is always going to be identical. What, the maintenance for different platings can be different, but the actual performance, no, because it's so thin. If the plating is one hundredth the thickness of the contact and the contact is only a small part of the voltage drop of the mech and the mech is only a small part of the voltage drop of the mech plus battery plus atomizer, etc. voltage drops, then it, it's just not any kind of noticeable differences. There might be a tiny difference on paper, but not anything we're going to see. But the difference that I thought we were seeing between the gold-plated ones and the silver-plated ones was because the gold-plated contacts were a lot rougher. Uh, I don't know if it was, it almost looked like there was like paint if you have too much, like it dripped. I don't know if that was it or uh, the plating was done badly or if the screw itself had it, but I decided to do an experiment where I took the contacts out from inside here and also these guys. I'll throw up a quick uh, macro photograph of the contacts here. And I took all of them and sanded down all the surfaces flat and then try to burnish them as smooth as I could using a Scotch-Brite uh, scrubber pad, the really heavy duty ones. And now I want to test these filed or sanded and burnished contacts to see if it makes any kind of difference the performance that I got with these same contacts before. Namely the gold plating is intact on all the threads, every place else except on where the, these contacts touch the battery and where the contacts touch together in here and then the surface of the 510 pin. Uh, normal setup, actually I have to set this up here. Okay, we've got, uh, we'll read the voltage drop here. I remember it was 95 millivolts for the gold plated contacts before I sanded them. 64 millivolts, 0.064 volts for the silver plated contacts, which I put in afterwards. We're gonna draw 30 amps for this electronic load. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the button fire a two-second pulse of current, and you'll read the voltage off here. Now I press the button first, so there's no arcing in pressing releasing the button, because I don't want any of that damage. I don't want that to be a variable. I use solid aluminum battery slugs. That lets the current pass through the mod, and we just read the voltage drop. And then uh, later on, for the uh, mech itself, for the previous video, I subtract the effects of the atomizer and the slugs you just left with the mech. But we're going to be comparing the numbers I got for the total setup. So 95 millivolts for the gold plated ones before I sanded them, 64 millivolts for the silver plated set. And let's get started. Okay, and this should go to zero volts when I press the button because we're no longer reading the power supply. When I let go, 3.5 volts, 3.5 volts. Now there's no voltage drop in the mech because no current is flowing. Now we're gonna fire a two second pulse, 62, 65, 64, 63, 58, 59. Pressing a little bit harder now because I got my pinky cupping underneath so the mod doesn't slide out of my hand. Let's call it 60. 61. 61. I'm going to call it 61. All right, so it took it down from 95 down to 61. And the silver plated contacts, the one that had a pretty smooth contact surface on the two of the surfaces at least, if I can grab them. 
are this. These two will, if I can get them to match up, will come together like this. And this screw, you'll see in episode 17, is a lot smoother than the gold plated one. So it makes better contact against this. Now, with sanding down the gold plated ones, which exposes the copper surface, so there's a little bit more maintenance now. I've dropped from 95 millivolts down to about 61 millivolts, and this was 64. Now 61, 64, that's the exact same damn thing. It really just depends how hard you're hitting the button. That could throw it off five millivolts plus at all. So significant improvement, not in terms of noticeable wattage and power loss, but it did drop the voltage drop does that make sense? Yeah, <laughs> it decreased the voltage drop uh, by at least 30% just by having a flatter contact. So the performance improvement of these silver plated contacts was not due versus the gold plated ones, was not due to using silver, it was due to the smoothness of the contact in my opinion. And that's a real important thing. Uh, the Broadside Mods Brizzo had a slight ridge in the arms, the wings that go out and touch the outside of the mod. The wings will go out and along here where the contact happened, it was just a single tiny point as opposed to this whole ridge touching. Well, that focuses the current that increases the voltage drop because it increased resistance. So little things, uh, especially for plated contacts, unless that plating is perfectly smooth and flat. You know, if you have one contact, you have two contacts come together just like this, that's great, you got this whole surface area. But if one contact comes like this, now you've only got this knife edge, and that's gonna be much higher resistance. Now sometimes if you push really hard, some th you know, there can be a realignment, the battery tilts a little bit or something tilts. But otherwise, no matter how smooth these two surfaces might be, if it comes at an angle, you've got high resistance. So how these contacts meet, how flat the surfaces are, how smooth they are, can have a huge effect. We spend so much time on threads and other things, but I think really getting down to just a few thousands of an inch here or there, tiny things, and the actual contact patch, the size of this patch is really, really critical, and this bears it out. Just by sanding those contacts smooth, we got a, a decently lower voltage drop. To reinforce uh, the conclusions we've reached here, let's take a quick look at the resistance of two of the components that inside here. I've got a resistance meter up here that can go down to millions of an ohm. And let's take a look at this component. This is the one that actually touches the contact, the button will push a contact up against this and uh, the other portion, transfer the um, current to the battery. So we'll take this one, which is the silver plated one. And then let's take the other one, the gold plated one. Okay, we have the two contacts, silver plated. This was the gold plated one. I took off, you might be able to see the exposed copper and the exposed, what I believe is nickel, that was underneath the gold there. But the gold plating still exists on the side. And that's where I am going to measure now the resistance of them. Because I, I tested these previously, trying to find the best points to measure. Because it, just the shape of the surface, how hard the, these press against it, etc., can affect your resistance readings. First we want to zero out. Okay, we're at zero. And let's take some readings. The gold one. I'm going to position them the same way. Okay, we are at 0.027 milliohms. That's 27 microohms, 27 millions of an ohm. Twenty-five millions of an ohm, twenty-five twenty-six. So there is a one millionth of an ohm difference.
And if I go back and remeasure the other one, 26. Go back and measure the silver. Twenty-five. So there's maybe millionth of an ohm difference between these two, which makes sense. They're both bars of much thicker copper compared to the plating, and the difference of resistance between the gold and the silver that's on the side here isn't that much. And there's very, very little of it, so it's very little effect. So it makes sense that these would test out about the same, and that'll be true for any of the gold-plated or silver plated components because they're all that copper underneath and the biggest difference for the original testing was due to the smoothness of the screws and of the contact surfaces that were uh, reused for the tests. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.